beauty salons are closed you cannot go to a beauty salon it's actually illegal to open up a beauty salon and have people walk in we cannot go to salons we cannot mm. go to malls mm. what is the way forward uh, i think for for beauty salons and maybe nail parlors mm. uh, they need to strategize again they need to go back to the drawing board they need to uh, make processes that are swift and agile if our I was uh, an owner of a beauty salon right now. I would look at investing more on digital to make sure that my services are pushed out there and also communicate with all my stakeholders, my customers, my shareholders and uh, the Ministry of Health. I'm very sure if you came up and um, um, communicated the SOPs that you can actually go to people's homes and maintain that. We'll sanitize our products, we'll, we'll sanitize our machinery Trust me, mm -hmm. they, they, they can give you an ear. Mm -hmm. But maybe because um, people are waiting for corona to end. It is not about to end. They need to wake up and re-strategize. That oh. is my advice to them. By the way, guys, if you're looking at my hair right now, I haven't had a <laughs> trim in so long. I just washed my hair and I dried it under the sun. I sprayed it. I put conditioner. I did everything myself. Now that is the swiftness that I'm talking now, about. This is the period that you're going to actually understand that having natural hair is the best thing ever because I don't need to go to a salon to, to take care of my hair. True. I just need the sun, shampoo, conditioner, and I'm and good. And you're good to go. And I'm good. Because and, and also maybe to add on that, um, if the bigger players in Uganda, the beauty salons, the big beauty salons, if they had uh, money in the bank, now this is the time to invest in those small, small products like hair oil, those small conditioners. Um, that they can easily sell to people. Exactly. The mobile salons could replace uh, I th the I ones think, at the most. I think this is the time to um, for, for such things to happen. There is a need now. Mm -hmm. uh, mobile salons were a thing even before Corona in Europe and, and in USA. Most of those celebrities, they can't go to malls. They can't. So the salons come to them. Yeah. Now, it is the in thing. Do you think that would work here and not spread the virus? Uh, I think with uh, proper SOPs, yeah, they can talk to the government and issue certificates to these providers that this one is fit to provide such a service at your home okay, because they will respect that. If any MP is watching or anyone in the government, please, please help us. Help us. <laughs> can mobile salons work? and not spread the virus. The question is over to you, our viewers. Let us know now. Let's move on to solutions, yeah? What mm -hmm. is the way forward? Now, COVID is here. Mm. We don't know when the vaccine is coming out, but what is the way forward in the beauty industry uh, and fashion as well? Like I've mentioned uh, before, re-strategize. Re-strategize. It is very, very important. What do your consumers need Prioritize right products. Prioritize yeah? products. Answering your question, what do consumers need right now? Yeah. And put in place a crisis management team. It has been an eye-opener. So it is a blessing to people that know what to do and to people like us who are in communication. This is our time to work also. Mm -hmm. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, viewership on TV and digital platforms has skyrocketed. Now, the way forward in the fashion industry is using digital platforms to engage with your customers. Tell them stories about your product. People are now more concentrated on, you know, the pandemic. But if you really want to make sales, try as much as possible to, you know, have that um, producer-consumer relationship. Now, you know, fashion industry is all about somebody coming to a boutique or, or a, a store and that, having that, that, that is, engagement. That is long now, dead. Now, we can't have that yeah. because of the lockdown the best thing to do is utilize your digital platforms do live videos um, engage with your fans um, or your followers or your customers let them ask questions that way they will be able to know what products do I need to buy and you can also advise them what products are necessary right now we cannot have fashion shows anymore yeah that's gone it's good that's gone mm. but recently we had the very first online digital runway show by Hanifa Akongli's designer. Most of you must have seen this on blogs like The Shade Room or even fashion magazines like Essence Magazine. They were all talking about her because she really wowed us. It was amazing and I feel like that is the future of um, fashion. I, th I think that is the future and the future is now. The future is yeah? now. The future is now. 
virtual production, virtual fashion shows are the way to go now. Yeah. Um, you're a designer, but you're not going to get walk-ins now. What do you do? Acting swiftly. Yeah. Being agile, being responsive to mm. um, the situation. Trends and all that. And going digital. If you have not seen the digital models as well, it is a trend now. Designers are not sourcing models. They are not using the, the, the models that we've been seeing on runways or in magazines. They are using digital models. So if you're in Uganda, please jump on the train. Research this software. Find out who can make this software for you. Don't think fashion is dead, guys. It is non dead. And thank God the Star Project is here to inform you of such new trends. Rama, mm -hmm. how has the fashion industry thrived during the COVID-19 pandemic? In the 11th address, I think, the president mentioned uh, fashion and clothing as one of the nine sectors that he's looking at critically. And he categorized it as... Um, a basic need clothing has a basic need so i think that is a blessing to us in the industry but it calls for us to now um, come up with strategies and share our expertise and knowledge to come together and work together with actually government and minister of health that is a good point we uh, have to share with them because they might not have that much knowledge e e as exactly we do. uh he mentioned about design about what now this is our time it is actually the designers that are supposed to come up with these designs and then they share with the health experts and then come up with a product that we have uh, universally produced. So something for the health ministry and something for our industry as well. It's so our time to own our place and mm. also have the fashion industry part of the budget. Mm. And also support us because now fashion designers have laid off workers, their employees. Yeah. And also um, investment in teaching also, teaching fashion, yeah. teaching um, how to maybe, um, because knowing how to design is one thing and knowing how to run a fashion shop, knowing how to run a label is totally different. So this is the time to come up with all stakeholders, the people who know business, government supporting us with raw materials, government supporting us by um, subsidizing on raw materials that, because fine, he wants us to uh, produce locally, but you don't have some of the raw materials, the good fabric. So they need to support us by subsidizing on some of these products so that we can be able to make products here and pay taxes and also put something in our pockets. It's a win. It's a win for the fashion industry. Mm. We are now really recognized and looked at as an important sector. Rama, what are your last remarks in relation to today's topic? Uh, well, um, we needed it. And I, I want to appreciate you and the entire team of Style Project for um, having such a topic. Because this is knowledge that people need right now. And this is really, really adding value to uh, the viewers. And um, I appreciate you hosting me and uh, me being able to talk about this and sharing the knowledge. Yeah. Otherwise, um, let's all wake up as the industry. Like the discussion uh, needs to be taken serious. And then God knows, maybe we'll make it one day. Yeah. We'll bounce back bigger and better. Mm -hmm. Yes, Nitil is doing a good thing. They are producing mass production, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is really good that we need right now. But at least let the money go back to our own Ugandans who have been studying fashion. Let them put their knowledge to good use. Well, if, if, if we had like maybe a union that brings us together, these things would be automatic. Yeah, let's bring it up. Let's start the union, guys. I'm here. Let's start the union. Thank you so much for being amazing viewers. We truly love you for watching. If you love my makeup, it was by Shilat Moa. Follow her on Instagram. My outfit is from Iconic Uganda. Find them at Senana Building. And this is where we have been shooting at their beautiful store located right here at Senana Building. From the whole entire crew, and Ram, of course, as your host, Bettina. Have a good night.